Fortnite has added quite a few sniper rifles over the years, and today we're going to be ranking them all to see which one is the best. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and use code WASOG in the Fortnite item shop to support me. Let's get straight into it. Alright, so our first sniper is the Bolt Action Sniper Rifle, and, you know, this is probably going to be a solid A for uh, the lower rarity and the higher rarity. They're just really solid. Well, let me just fix the order there for a second. Really solid, you know, classic sniper rifle, you know, you can't go wrong with it, you know. 200 headshot, 100 body, you know, pretty solid. The only one I don't think that does 100 body is the gray bolt, but that was in the game for like a total of one hour, so... You know, 95 isn't horrible, but, you know, everyone, every other rarity is better, so. Uh, but yeah, classic sniper, this is what a default sniper should really do and look like, you know what I'm saying? Semi-auto sniper rifle, a hot take, this is the best sniper in the game, okay? So, I might sound a bit crazy being like, oh, the semi-auto is the best sniper, but 250 headshot with 100 body in blue is insane when you consider this thing, um, is a semi-auto weapon, granted the name, and has 10 shots. If you think the Reaper sniper rifle is overpowered than this thing it's it's definitely w way too overpowered um yeah like this thing is insane it is crazy like the fact that the buffed version even got in the like main game at all even though it was like for two weeks during like og like that's insane like that is actually crazy next we got the hunting rifle and this is probably going to be another a tier i might actually put the gold one above the bolt because the gold one does a uh, hundred and does a hundred body and it's really good considering it reloads really fast so you can just like spam shots with this thing so any like spammy sniper that does 100 200 headshots is insane it's it's automatically going towards the top you know what i'm saying um yeah just being able to get like quick damage off being able to pick them off it's really nice it's really nice the heavy sniper this is a hot take but this is gonna go in b tier so it's it does have the the 100 200 headshot thing it actually does like around 120 but um the build damage it just isn't there and the reload time just isn't there it's way too clunky now it's way too slow that i'd rather really just use like basically any other sniper in like this kind of vein you know what i'm saying there's like if any of these are in the game at the same time there's no reason for me to pick up a heavy sniper over like a bolt or a semi-auto you know what i'm saying it's just everything that made this weapon unique and good has just been stripped away from it which is kind of sad to see if you think about it next we got the suppressed sniper and this is actually going to be our first s tier sniper so the reason this thing is in s tier is because the reload time on this is insane so it's kind of like a hunting rifle but slightly faster i believe and it has a scope which is crazy like that is insane like i said spammy snipers are just like top tier snipers there's like nothing that can go wrong with these it's like insane same sort of thing can be said for this Storm Scout Sniper, and I'm probably going to put this up in S tier too. It doesn't do 100 body shot, but it still does like 200 headshot, which is still crazy. Um, like, also it could show you where the Storm Circles are, so like, now if it got unvaulted right now, it probably wouldn't be too great because you just go to a forecast tower and just be able to see it on your minimap without having to zoom in on the sniper. But back before that was a thing, this was like a crazy utility item. People would just carry it for the utility. It was, it was insane. Um... I don't believe this thing has even been updated to like the new map like i believe this thing's like stuck in like chapter three or something but you know whatever whatever little little tangent there but a uh, spammy sniper really good solid body damage it's not 100 it's not great but you know whatever it does have five shots i believe so you know not really too much of a claim but two 200 headshot is like insane for this thing auto sniper whoo this is going to be our first D tier. The auto sniper, it's basically like the predecessor to the DMR. Like, basically take everything that makes a DMR, like, sort of good. I know the DMR isn't a good weapon, but every positive trait that the DMR has, take that and then just get get rid of it for this weapon. Okay, I say the only thing that this weapon has over the DMR is that it's auto fire, but the damage isn't good. The um, damage isn't good. Weapon like this with bullet drop off is just not great. So, I mean, why would you use this? Why would you, why would you realistically use this? This thing is so pointless it's genuinely genuinely like pointless there's no reason for it next we got the lever action rifle and no surprise this thing's gonna go in f tier it's a hunting rifle that does less damage um it shoots fairly slow for what it is it's kind of spammy but the damage doesn't really benefit at all too much it's kind of like a dmr without a scope now that i think about it yeah it's basically what this thing is it's a dmr without a scope like that's just really really bad and like i'm like i'm shocked that this thing like ever even got added like how did this pass like review like oh yeah this weapon it's like a hunting rifle but it does less damage it has multiple shots in the clip but it's still gonna have sniper drop off it's still gonna have all of that it's 
superstitious. Ooh, this is this is a mess of a weapon. It's, it's really bad. Like how how did this thing even get past? I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. And band sniper rifle, the Mandalorian sniper. It was it was fine. I'm gonna be honest. Um, the melee gimmick. It was cool. It could save you from fall damage, I believe. But other than that, it wasn't too good. Um, the scope was like a thermal scope, but um, the, the scope just didn't. It wasn't my favorite scope. If I'm gonna be real. Um, it did do good damage. I'll give it that. It did do good damage. But trying to scope in with this thing did feel kind of clunky it's like mm, is it really worth going going for the the mandalorian for this thing i don't really think so um i mean it was cool but like nothing nothing crazy you know what i'm saying next we got the dragon's breath sniper and i'm probably gonna throw this in s tier it's just a bolt sniper with fire on it and fire is like really annoying you don't even have to use this thing as a sniper you could just shoot it at someone's builds and then oh they're on fire now which is like insane because fire can like be really really annoying sometimes so that's just it's just crazy it's just crazy how things work out you know um the exotic storm scout is just the same as the normal storm scout there's literally no changes between these weapons which is really weird what's the point like you couldn't do anything interesting with this but you know whatever whatever it's it's fine who cares boom sniper rifle okay i, I love this thing but realistically speaking this thing is not too great it's a sniper that has delay basically it does explode but we we had a better explosive sniper which we'll get to in a bit um this this thing, even if you did hit it, it only did 10 damage on at first, and then you'd have to wait like a second or two for like the rest of the damage. And then again, it didn't even add up to 100. I mean, it did have five shots, but eh, if I want to use an explosive sniper. There's a better option. And it's kind of weird because this is an exotic. So you'd think it would be better, but I guess not. I guess not. I guess that's not what they were cooking that day when they made it. Next, we have the rail gun. Okay, rail gun. I'm going to put an SS here. This is the only thing that could shoot through builds, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. Like it only shot through one. Like don't get it. Don't think it's too crazy, but shooting through builds with a gun is crazy like especially with the recon scanner that was in the game at the time like op strat op strat um it did kind of tell you that you're getting sniped at and it did have a charge up time but at that didn't really matter um i could even get a, like get past the fact that it didn't do 200 to the head or 100 to the body but like just shooting through builds on its own is crazy gonna be honest it's like insane also it just kind of really looks cool it like shoots really nicely it's really cool I like it. I think it's a cool weapon. All right. Wow. They really did not add a lot of snipers in like the last few years. All right. Hunter Bolt Sniper. Hunter Bolt Action Sniper Rifle. This is an SS tier. It's going to be in between these two. It's a bolt sniper with three shots in the clip. That's like the only difference. So you're taking a already good weapon and you're just making it spammier. That's like crazy. You could just like, bam, bam, bam. And then you have three good shots at trying to 200 someone in the head. That is insane. And I think a lot of people don't recognize this but with both these weapons because when these weapons were first introduced, they didn't do 200 to the head. You know what I'm saying? I don't even believe they did 100 to the body. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think they did like 99 max, like the Hunter Bolt I'm talking about here, which is insane. But when they came back in uh, Chapter 3 Season 4, they actually buffed them so they were actually good and uh, they did 200 which was crazy. Like, the spammy 200 headshot snipers are just the best that you could, like, ever ask for. Next, we got the explosive repeater rifle, the only chapter 4 sniper, and, um, this thing, I'm gonna put it in bottom of A. Uh, I mean S. It was just great for picking damage off your opponents. Like, you didn't even really use this thing as a sniper. You would just, like, kind of shoot it in, like, their general vicinity, and it would, like, do, like, 45 damage, I believe. I believe that's in, like, gold or something. I could be wrong. Um, But, like, just being able to tag them for, like, a good chunk of damage was, was just, like, too crazy. It's, like, I think it's why the, uh, this is so much better than the Bloom Sniper. It's because this would just explode on contact. This, you had to wait for a bit, you know. That's how it works, I guess. But this thing, you didn't. You just went, bam, boom. Bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, bam, boom. And like the your opponent was low on HP. You could even get a kill or two with it. And then you could just rush them and then bam, one shot, they're dead. It's, it's crazy. Um, It was one of the only fun things about that season that it came in, Chapter 4, Season 3. One of the few good things in that season. Um, and I'd like to see it come back. I don't think this thing really even needs like weapon mods. So I could see this coming back in like a future version, or, like a future update. Like I was thinking about also making a video on like what weapons could come back without mods. So if you'd like, like to see that video, um, make sure to tell me in the comments, like, if you want to see that. And then we get on to our last sniper of the video, the Reaper Sniper Rifle. This thing is an SST. I don't think it's the best sniper, okay? I think it's a little bit overrated, all right? I get that it's a spammy sniper and all, and that you can have five shots in it, but that's still not better than the semi-auto, okay? Ten shots, right, in faster fire rate. We got to keep that in mind. But this is definitely better than the Hunter Bolt. The fact that you can mob this thing is what gets it higher than the Hunter Bolt. It's 
200 headshot, 100 body, and you can mod it to be whatever you like. It's insane. Actually, actually insane. This, this weapon is crazy, and yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. It's just a crazy, crazy weapon but not, not the best sniper. I mean, a lot of people don't really think about the semi-auto when they think best sniper in the game. I'm just saying. All right, so this is my tier list. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and use code WASDUJRI in the Fortnite item shop to support me. See you in the next video. Bye.